and welcome back to the video channel on this video we are going to be riding the rad rover and it's nighttime so you see the lights and i'm also going to be wearing my ex needle helmet and it's of course got the lights flashing on the back and then the front headlight and put that on now if you'd like to purchase a uh, ex needle at a discounted price i do have a link in the description if you want to click on that it'll take you to the ex needle site where you can get a discount with my discount code save you 15 dollars on the helmet and it would also help out the channel. Okay, let's go for a ride and I want to talk about the Rad Rover and headlights. We're getting a little bit of rain and I'm not prepared for rain, but that's okay. It's not coming down very much, so I'll be fine. So headlights, and you can see I don't know how well it's picking it up on the camera but see the headlight on the Rad Rover, it's not the greatest headlight, it kind of looks to me like I'll tell you what it reminds me of a flashlight, a regular flashlight that's about what I'm seeing here it's um, with most bikes I think it's kind of it so sounds like the same deal I mean I haven't had a lot of bikes myself but it sounds like headlights are never great uh, on bikes unfortunately um, so a lot of times people will um, upgrade the headlight I've not done that. I, I'm just using this headlight. I don't do a lot of night riding. So it's fine for me. But um, if I was going to do very much night riding at all, um, I would definitely want to upgrade the headlight. I mean, I'm on a, a pretty well lit street at the moment, but. Some streets you get on are not the greatest lit, especially if you're out in the country or, you know, like not in the city. The city you can get away with a lesser light, but if you're on some back roads or side streets and there's not the greatest light, uh, then you can uh, definitely probably use an upgrade on your headlight. The headlight on the helmet is good and the, and the rear light to uh, um, help for drivers to see you. It's, it's more for, for the other person than for yourself, you know what I mean? It's not going to shine light to help you see necessarily the same, but um, the helmet is handy. Uh, the headlight is really handy for when I've locked my front door in the dark you know and I and you look down to lock the house up then uh, that light shines pretty nice you know makes for a good light to uh, see what the heck you're doing yeah I was not expecting this little bit of rain but I'm not equipped for it but it's not that bad it's just a very light rain but You'll get a good look at the uh, headlight here when we get to some darker portions. It's not, uh, like I say, the greatest, but... If you'd like to leave a comment in the comment section and let me know how you feel about headlights on bikes and, and your bike 
do you use the stock headlight that comes with the bike or do you uh, upgrade and get something a little more uh, brighter that can uh, shoot out a better light to uh, help you see? I suspect more people than not probably uh, swap out their headlight for a better one. I sometimes try to change the uh, angle a little bit, but we're coming into a little bit darker now. You can see, I don't know if it, how well it picks it up, like I say on the camera, but it's not great. So I think one upgrade that a lot of folks would probably do, particularly, like I say, if you do night riding uh, quite a bit, then you're probably gonna wanna, on a lot of bikes, upgrade the headlight. But like I say, if you've got a bike with a pretty good light on it that came with the bike, let me know what kind of bike you got and uh, how well the light shines for you. As I ride into a bit of wind here, hitting my face. This bike, uh, the Rad Rover, has uh, reflective stripes on the wheels which is good and then there's some reflecting uh, stickers on the bike as well more uh, the more we can be seen for night riding the better right so not only the bike but you yourself um, it doesn't hurt to wear something reflective and get a good helmet that has uh, lighting on it that helps. Anything like that um, would help a driver see you. And like I say, it's going to be more uh, for you, or for the driver, I should say, than it is for you. But just, uh, we all like to be uh, and want to be and should be uh, safe when we're riding, as safe as we can be. A, the Grizzly that I have has that big old headlight in the front, but it's not the greatest either. I mean, it probably looks like it's going to put out a massive light, but it's not that that great. From what I've heard, uh, like I have the uh, V2 Grizzly, and from what I've heard, the V3 uh, they may have upgraded the headlight because uh, I've heard uh, that the headlight is not bad on the V3, so it's probably been upgraded, put a little bit better one on there. That's uh, one of the a few things that they could upgrade on the uh, Grizzly uh, in my mind. And the other one was the, uh, I'm not a huge fan of the fenders. I mean, they are too short. If you look at the fenders on the Rad Rover here, they're, they're long. They cover a good portion of the wheel, particularly in the back. And that's where I really want it because a lot of 
water and mud kicks up on you. I'm sure there's some folks out there that probably just don't do night riding at all. So they don't really rely on a headlight anyway, so it doesn't really matter to them. But uh, I don't do, like I say, much night riding, but when I do, it's nice to know though that you have a pretty good headlight and not have to worry about um, your vision, you know, for driving or riding at night. My preference is day riding for sure, but uh, night riding is nice, particularly in the summer. You know, when you get those really warm days and uh, maybe you don't feel so much, it's just too hot to ride, you know, say it's 100 degrees outside, well, you know, you don't really want to ride in 100 degree weather, maybe it's cooling off to 75 or something, in, you know, at night, and uh, much more comfortable night riding weather, uh, so you ride at night. Well, that's gonna do it for this video, checking out the Rad Rover headlight and talking a little bit about headlights. If you have any comment on this video or any others on the channel, please leave a comment in the comments below. If you like this video, hit the like button. Also, if you wanna subscribe, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And notification bell, if you wanna be notified, hit that and you'll be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel. So thank you for joining me on this video, and until next time, take care.